Hey guys, so today we're gonna be making a mango chutney from scratch. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So I peeled and cored um, three medium apples and two mangoes. And now I'm gonna add that to the pot. So peel, core, and chop. Add it to the pot. Actually, let's see. And if you're making this ahead of time and you want to chop up the apples, um, you should We got that. And then also I want to add the red pepper that I chopped up. So half of a medium sweet red pepper. So about a quarter of a cup of finely chopped ginger to the pot. And also a cup of finely chopped onion. So, let's get that another chop. Cup of finely chopped onion. That's good. So now we're going to add one and a half cups of sugar to the pot. One. A lot of sugar, but it's going to make a lot, so. So the recipe calls for yellow golden raisins, but I'm gonna switch it up and add some currant raisins, so the little black guys. Add about a half a cup to the pot. So half a cup of white vinegar. the mangoes, the red pepper, the sugar, the onion, the raisins, the vinegar, and the ginger in a large stainless steel pot or enamel saucepan. So now, oops, put it on and stir it up a little bit. Let's get this going. Flavors together. It smells good. There's so much stuff going on in here. Okay, get it all mixed in. for this but yeah there it is. Now I'm gonna cover it for a little bit just so um, the fruit can get a little softer. It's out of oil right now but um, I just covered it just for a couple minutes just to get the juices flowing and everything and then we're gonna uncover it and let it gently boil for a little while longer. So that's how it's looking right now. It's looking good so it's gonna boil high boil so now we're going to bring it down and we're going to boil gently for 20 minutes so I'm gonna put on the timer and we're going to wait this has been cooking for about 25 minutes until it's thick and the fruit is softened and now we're gonna add some spice we're gonna add a tablespoon of lemon juice to the pot the sweetness of the chutney and we're going to add two teaspoons of curry powder And also, we are going to add half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I got much, so half a teaspoon. And half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna mix this up. This one's really good. Well, we are done with the mixture. 
this every pot right here. And we are just um, sterilizing some jars right here. Um, I'm not really following like the right directions on how to do this, but I just took some jars that I had and um, boiled them here. And I'm gonna put them in the soup. Stay there. Stay there. Yeah, because then stay there. Leave a little bit of room at the top of the jar. The chutney in the jar, and this is how it turned out. See, but I'm telling you, it was so amazingly good. I cannot even explain myself. Um, yes, it was delish, delicious. Um, try it on. I would say fish, like halibut any like white fish kind of thing or um chicken be really good and like non of course it's really good or just like anything you really feel like putting it on it is so good and if you want to add different spices experiment with different things like i'm sure it would be really good so yeah i hope you enjoy it thank you